There is also breaking news at Grand Central Terminal. A mass sabotage of the MTA is being planned for tonight. It is led by a group that wants free subway rides and no officers patrolling the trains. CBS 2's Jessica Moore live inside Grand Central tonight. What's happening right now, Jessica? Lisa Christine, right here at the height of rush hour, a wall of protesters behind me marching toward us, shouting, No more cops. Pockets of NYPD and state police officers swarming the terminal and down in the subway station here at Grand Central, spread out all over the place tonight, trying to make sure that the demonstration remains peaceful. NYPD officers swarm Grand Central subway station, guarding turnstiles and standing by for tonight's planned anti police, anti MTA fair demonstration. To all our friends, family, students, Three masked members of the protest group are seen in a Twitter video encouraging people to skip fares, damage turnstiles, and engage in a mass sabotage of the MTA, pointing followers toward a demonstration at Grand Central. Brandy says she held a turnstile open for half an hour today, helping people evade the fare. We pay for the metro with our taxes. Why are we being charged and then hounded if we don't pay to use it? And of course, it's disproportionately brown and black people who are being hounded and arrested. Members of the group can be seen squirting paint on the Omni readers, hanging banners inside the Oculus station, and pouring super glue inside the turnstiles at 72nd Street in Central Park West. That same station, we found anti police graffiti splashed across this wall. No violence towards officers. That's pushing the line. The NYPD says it knew about the planned protest and has increased patrols today at subway stations across the five. While the NYPD will always protect people's right to protest, we will not accept illegal behavior that threatens the safety of others. Those who break the law will be arrested. The Police Benevolent Association warned New Yorkers to pay close attention, calling this, quote, an end of all policing and the destruction of public order. Many people we spoke with say society would be chaos without police on the ground. The police are here to help us, um, you know, you, you, you can't have criminals or anyone, you know, roaming around with, you know, weapons or anything. Late today, this warning from transit officials, quote, the MTA has zero tolerance for any actions that threaten the safety of the public and our employees and impede service for millions of customers. Here live now, you can hear behind me very loud protesters as this demonstration continues. Today's demonstration is part of a worldwide movement. We saw similar scenes in cities like Montreal and elsewhere. So far, though, the NYPD has only confirmed two arrests, and they say no police officers have been injured. We're live at Grand Central. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News.